Hello. Hello. So guys, kung mapapansin nyo, merong, <laughs> merong subtitle dyan sa baba, and English. Yun ay ang kadahilan ng, <laughs> please, please, I am so sorry. No, kung gagawa man ako ng ganitong klase ng video. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo naman doon sa title, sa taas, or sa baba, or kung saan man, this is a reaction video. No? Um, reaction video. Bakit ako gagawa ng ganitong klase ng video? Unang-una, wala na akong makontent. <laughs> De, joke lang. Gagawa ako ng ganito kasi, uh, sa totoo lang, idol ko yung, um, idol ko yung taong irere ako dito. Okay, so, and umaasa ako na sana, Michael, baka naman, no? Baka naman, pwede mong mapansin. Baka, ba, baka, baka lang naman mapansin mo. Baka, baka lang naman. Idol ko yung taong irere ako dito is siya ay walang iba kundi si Michael Reeves. Hindi ko alam kung yung iba sa inyo is kilala si Michael Reeves. And hindi ko alam kung yung iba sa inyo is hindi kilala. I know, marami sa inyo hindi kilala si Michael Reeves, di ba? Pero bago ko sabihin sa inyo or bago ko ipakilala sa inyo kung sino ba si Michael Reeves or kung... About saan ba tong irere ako? Gusto ko lamang sabihin, no? With all of the things happening, yung pandemic, uh, ECQ, Facebook and YouTube drama, ano pa ba, ba? Uh, controversial videos, hindi talaga natin maiiwasang malungkot. And yung iba pa nga, eh, nade-depress na. Kailangan natin ng makakapagpasaya sa atin and makakapagbigay ng good vibes. So, ayun yung isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit ako gumawa ng video na ito. Kasi, isa ito sa nagpapagood vibes sa akin. At ng kasiyahan, no, sa kabila ng nangyayari sa atin ngayon. So, guys, sino nga ba si Michael Reeves? Okay, so, si Michael Reeves ay isang... Actually, isa siyang Pinoy. Pinoy siya, pero hindi siya ipinanganak and hindi siya lumaki dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, taga, ano siya, taga Hawaii? Doon siya lumaki? And ngayon, nasa Los Angeles na siya. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ko sinasabi sa inyo itong mga specific details na to. Anyway, without the specific details, si Michael Reeves ay isang YouTuber na ang content niya is gumagawa siya ng robot. Nagbibuild siya ng mga automated na mga bagay-bagay. For example, gumawa siya ng video na kung saan eh, babariling ka ng BB gun ata yun or ng pellet gun sa totoong buhay pagka nababuwasan ka sa Fortnite. Ah, so, isa siyang programmer. Ayun na lang, isa siyang programmer, tapos gumagamit siya ng Arduino. Yung Arduino, is it, ito ay isang chip para makapagpagalaw sa isang bagay. Yun yung ano niya, yun yung general explanation niya. Yung Arduino is lalagyan mo ito ng program, no, na kung saan eh, mag-execute ito ng mga commands, no, uh, based doon sa nilagay mo sa kanya, no. For example, example lang ha, for example, pagka ako humiga, may madedetect ito na command na if ako is humiga, tapos ang result nun, is bubukas yung pintuan. Yung mga ganong klase ng bagay, no? <laughs> ganon yung Arduino. Hindi ko na i-explain sa yung technical. So, si Michael Reeves, yun siya. Tapos si Michael Reeves ay part ng Offline TV. Ang Offline TV is a group of content creators na kung saan eh, gumagawa sila ng content, no? Na magkakasama sila. Pero meron silang uh, individual content kasi mga ano sila, streamers. Uh, Twitch streamers, maliban kay Michael Reeves, pero napapalapit na yung araw ng pagla-livestream niya. So, ayun, hindi ko na masyadong sasabihin sa inyo ibang technical discussion. Eh, technical discussion. <laughs> hindi ko na sasabihin sa inyo iba pang technical explanation or tech, um, mga specific details, no? Kung sino ba si Michael Reeves. Kung gusto nyo i-check yung channel nila, nandiyan sa description down below. So, gagawa ako ng reaction video dito sa latest upload niya kasi... Nag-upload siya ng video once every, I don't know, two months. Ganun katagal um, i-produce yung video niya kasi nagko-code siya. Mag-isa lang siya. No? Siya yung nagko-code. Siya yung gumagawa ng mga robot niya. And siya yung nag edit ng videos. Siya yung nag-shoot. Siya, siya lahat. Okay? Hindi ko to ginagawa kasi, well, kumbaga parang pa-fame or pa-famous. Wala akong pakialam dyan. Ang gusto ko lang is, sana yung, yung tipong, <laughs> Michael, uh, not notice me. So, with all that being said, and without any further ado, mm, reaction. <laughs> oh, here we go. Da Vinci Surgical System is the most advanced streamlined surgical experience for minimally invasive surgery available surgery in the world today. I can build that. Hey 
Hey, how's everyone's global health crisis going? My house is on full goddamn quarantine, and I'll probably be dead in a week anyway. Not from the virus, like like a electrocution accident or something. It's actually giving me a lot of free time, and what better way to spend free time right now than to help the medical industry? Now, I can't do any chemistry or biology or like body stuff, yuck, but I can do robotics. And let me tell you, those Da Vinci surgery robotics rat bastards are ripping hospitals off. Look at this, $2 million for one shitty robot. They could spend that on a couple hundred bandages or like one ambulance ride in the US. We can build a better surgery robot for a lot less. Come on. The biggest flaw in Da Vinci's design is that it relies on these clunky, slow robotic arms for movement. Say you're operating on a patient's foot. He starts screaming out in pain. You gotta get up to his face, smack him around a little bit, make him shut up. Good fucking luck with these robotic arms. They're slow as shit and they don't have any travel distance. Instead, we're gonna mount the surgical tools to a rail system that can move anywhere on the operating table. <laughs> hey look, it's past Michael. You know it took him five whole days to 3D model and build one rail carriage? What a dipshit. Hey man, shut the fuck up. This shit's hard. Make me a little bitch. I'm the narrator. I'm like, God, you can't kill me. I'm Here's what the final carriage looks like. You see, it uses wheel bearings to travel up and down the slots in this aluminum rod. But Michael, you're just gonna use your hand to make it move? No, you're stupid, and I hate you. For power, we're using a brushless DC motor and an O-drive to turn this into kind of like a brushless servo motor. Do I know what that means? Abs- <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry, wala akong masyadong sinasabi kasi first time kong, first time kong papanoorin to and also nakapokus ako sa panonood. Absolutely fucking not. I've never done this before. What I do know is someone told my voice crack. <laughs> what I do know is not to turn this into kind of like a brushless servo motor. Do I know what that means? Absolutely fucking not. I've never done this before. What I do know is someone told my voice crack. <laughs> what I do know is someone told me this would be fast and very accurate. And all you have to do to put it in is... I forgot to record all the sound effects, okay? Give me a fucking break. Lit. I got the motor very professionally hooked up to the driver board, which is hooked up to my computer, so we can see what this thing can do. Okay, so this is the, like, calibration sequence. It needs to do this before it actually runs. Oh, that's so fucking sick! Ah, oh, I think it, it should be a little faster, though. Uh, oh, okay, the motor has default parameters, so you can just turn those up. Okay, let's try it out now. Love it. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, oh, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> that's good. That's that's fast. Give me one second. Okay, you just stand, stand right there. Whoa. Oh, Lily, <laughs> Lily <Whoa>. Pichu. <laughs> we just gotta put a few of these together, and it looks like this. I did the quirky little snap teleportation thing. Right there. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we just gotta put a few of these together and it looks like this. I did the quirky little snap teleportation thing, right? That was three weeks ago. I'm fucking tired. But I built this <laughs> test platform out of aluminum and wood that I stole from my girlfriend's bed frame. Oh, very Test friend. platform out of aluminum and wood that I stole from my girlfriend's bed frame. It's not like I can go to Home Depot on quarantine. It's just a prototype so I can write and test the software before I build the actual thing, but even the prototype is pretty cool. It's the same idea with the motor carriage on the x-axis, but now I have two additional motors on the y-axis. And on their own, they're just motors. They don't know how to talk to each other. They don't know how to cooperate. But if you write some software that can talk to all the motors, you can make it do pretty much anything you want. This is the homing sequence. It figure out the bounds of the machine by measuring the amperage of the, of the motor on the motors when they stop. <laughs> Yeah, you can make it. Do, you can make it do this. Shit. Maybe not as stable as you want it to be, but you know, it's just a prototype. <laughs> so stupid. So I'm controlling it with my mouse right now. It looks jerky and awful, but it's actually got a really good amount of precision to it. It's kind of going in a circle from the top-down view. Like I said, this is not the final surgery robot. It's going to be much more refined, much more medical looking. You know, much more safe for the user. And all that movement was controlled by the code I wrote. Don't worry, I'm not going to show it. I know everyone thinks it's boring, so we. I don't give a shit what you think. Look at this dynamic. Uh, bounds detection routine that's fucking oh. <laughs> sick. Here's a limit switch. You can put it here to detect the bounds of your machine. Yeah, fuck that limit switch. It's cringe. Instead, write some code that steps the motor forward until it starts using a lot of power. Then you know you hit the edge of the rail. And then you know exactly where you are in relation to the bounds of the machine. It's fucking sick. Look how cool the code part is, guys. I'm gonna keep going. This part applies the scaling factors that are calculated as a function of the input. 
But Michael, I hear you ask. So you can move the carriage over any part of the operating table you want. Mm. Great. But how are you going to move the medical tools up and down to engage with the patient? Well, that's where the carriage utility mechanism comes into play. Um. That's the thing that's going <laughs> to scalpel or the clamp or whatever up and down, which is great. There's just a small problem, slight problem. Well, I built it. I built it, which is a good thing. My original plan was, you know, just to have a thin piece of plastic with a motor attached to it that moves a plate. Easy. But then I fucking, I saw that thing. <laughs> Okay, there's no way that's gonna survive, so I gotta make it a little strong. You know, I may as well make it go a little faster. I got a little carried away, and now it looks like a time bomb, and it weighs 10 fucking pounds. It works great. The motor precisely moves the mounting plate up and down wherever you want it to go. The thing is, I just don't know if those motors can handle 10 pounds, so we're gonna have to do a little test. Michael, why don't you just use the carriage utility mechanism to test it out? Well, it took me a long time to build, and it's fucking beautiful, so cry more. It looks like it's handling small movements pretty well. Y axis action. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay. Oh, it's fine. It'll be fine. We can probably just go ahead and make the final version. And it looks like this. I did the stupid hand thing again. It's been three more weeks. I have severe depression. But Michael, where's the surgery robot? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, big reveal. This is the surgery robot. Massive payoff. Huge. I have brain damage. Behold the superior <laughs> surgery robot, you DaVinci Shittertons. It's got the cum. It's got the cable management. It's got the super fucking hard to reach driver boards. I don't know why I put them under here. I thought it would look cool. But Michael, does it even work? Does it work? <laughs> Does it work? I don't know if it works. I haven't turned it on yet. I've been too afraid since it took me so long to build, so I turned the camera on so you can at least see my tears when it tears itself apart. I'm worried about this shit because when I built it, I went ooga booga caveman brain, metal strong. Metal not strong. Metal more like McDonald's play place trampoline. But you gotta take chances when you're innovating on the next great thing, so I'm gonna turn it on. Oh god, oh please. Yeah, okay. Please don't break it. Yeah! All right, the machine's working. Now we can start to control it. But Michael, where's the controller? Fuck you, you are the controller. I got this VR hand tracking camera off of Amazon that works super goddamn well. So you just take the hand Good. coordinates from this, pipe them in the surgery robot, and bing, bang, boom. Galing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, boom. Fuck you, DaVinci Robotics. You can move my thing with just floating your hand around. Robot, go here. Ooh, robot, do surgery here. Oh no, patient bleeding there. Oh, do surgery there on that part. How about you do surgery over here? Now do surgery over there, and now do surgery. Fuck you, DaVinci. You shitty robot can't do that. You need to squeeze those little metal robot teeth to do yours. Oh shit, before I sell my design to surgeons across the nation, we have to attach some surgical tools to the cum, because otherwise it's just a big ass robot. So let's buy a scalpel on Amazon. Wow, that is just unacceptable. Scalpels are gonna take a whole three days. Wow, that's pretty reasonable. Fuck no, three that's days? messed up. Dang global health Bidisa. crisis. That's far too long. If only I had an alternative. You really think about it, scalpels are just shitty, smaller knives. So why don't we just use bigger, better knives? Like, uh, hello, we already have those. <laughs> Wake up, sheeple! <laughs> Are you tired of outdated surgical technology? Are you looking for the cutting edge in power, precision, and usability? Look no further. The future of surgical robotics is here. <laughs> Look at the fucking knife! <laughs> Unlike some oh God, other surgical bro. systems, we've run a gamut of tests <laughs> to ensure. <laughs> Unlike some other surgical systems, we've run a oh, gamut shit. of tests to ensure our machine has power. I'm gonna stab a pineapple with. Oh, fuck. Mincing the operation. <laughs> Operate on it. Surgery <laughs> over here now. Um, patient. Small incision. Uh, small incision. We'll, we'll move the patient. Commence surgery on the patient. The power isn't the only thing we strive for. Precision is an essential tenet of surgery, and we make no exceptions when testing for accuracy. What the fuck is that? Hey, you're oh, really doing painting? No, Lily, come on, please. Ah! Oh shit! Oh, fuck, oh. Draw them. Para dun sa mga hindi nakakaalam, no? Ah, uh, si Michael Reeves and si Lily is magjawa sila, alright? Um, uh, lala, share ko lang. <laughs> Mona Lisa. Draw the Mona Lisa. Oh, look at me, look at me. Eyes. That's a little racist looking. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not going to pressure you, but this is supposed to show how accurate my machine is. It'll reach the water. Let's see a Da Vinci try to do that. You might be wondering, is the system FDA approved? FDA approved. 
But don't just take our word for it. Here's what a real medical professional has to say about this innovative new technology. We're gonna go for like a laparoscopic appendectomy. So if we just make a small incision above the chest here, uh, we can... A uh, little bit more difficult for some procedures, but not... You can see you still have a lot more accurate control than a lot of surgical systems. Fuck off. So like I was saying, moving the patient is a lot easier with the system. Like normally you'd have to manually move them. Would you, be, uh, would you add this to your hospital? Do you think hospitals could adopt? Uh, seems a little dangerous. Okay, I appreciate the feedback. You're wrong. Last but not least, we've made our machine so intuitive that anyone can do surgery oh. with no prior training. So you've never seen this machine before. Oh, in your life. No. It's perfect because this study is to see if we can bring someone from zero skill level all the way up to the ability of a surgeon. Boot up right in front of not too close because because it's kind of dangerous. So just put your hand out. <laughs> Could you just put your hand out above? Boot up right in front of not too close because because it's kind of dangerous. So just put your hand out. of a surgeon. Boot up right in front of- not too close because because it's kind of dangerous. So just put your hand out. <laughs> Could you just put your hand out above the thing? <laughs> so, higher up controls the knife position. You can move it further closer and it'll get further away from you. We're gonna make a small incision right above the ear. <laughs> there's some six. there's some six. Okay, so you're doing it wrong. Oh, shit. Okay, so well, fuck! Oh, cut. you're clearly making another incision to stop. Plug the hole with the knife. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Nice. Yeah, Delicate. Oh, this. What's? It's okay. No, it's fine. It's it's learning. It's a learning experience. Try and retract the knife from the head. Let's just, let's just try and get it out of. The... Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Okay, good incision. Ah! If your patient's over here and you don't want them to be over there, move them over here. Do some surgery over here. Move them back. I don't even know what surgery this was supposed to be. Thank you for watching. That concludes research and development for my surgical system. If you're a hospital looking to try it out, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, and maybe, just maybe, I'll let you borrow it for a bit. Remember, stay in school, smoke crack, fuck you Da Vinci Robots, <laughs> bye. This YouTube video is sponsored by Raycon. I have to send them this. Sana, oh, sana all may, may sponsor, di ba? <laughs> so guys, um, <laughs> that's Michael Reeves. And ayun yung uh, video niya na inaabangan ng maraming tao. For sure, magka-trending na naman yan. Nabitin ako. Yeah, um, masyadong, hindi naman masyado, pero uh, may, may kli, nabitin ako. Uh, pero maganda, maganda yung videos niya. Ang ganda ng comedic timings niya. And also yung, yung ginawa niyang robot ngayon, yung sensor, yung sa VR daw, uh, yung... Uh, that was <laughs> galing, magaling, magaling. Sorry kung hindi ako masyadong nagsasalita kasi naka-focus ako. First time kong pinanood to and naka-focus ako. <laughs> Wala lang, trip ko lang, but ba? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, bravo. And also, ano ako, uh, speechless. So I think, punta na tayo doon sa, sa outro. There you have it guys, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. Sorry, para doon sa mga hindi nakarelate. No, kung gusto nyong uh, mas lalo pong makilala si Michael Reeves, click nyo yung channel niya sa list, the description down below. And kung gusto nyo makilala pa ang offline TV, no? Ang offline TV pala is nandun si Pokimane, si Lily Pichu, si Fedmeister, si Skara, si Disguise Toast, Yvonne, and Michael Reeves. Click nyo lang yung link sa description down below. So, kung nagustuhan nyo yung video guys, please hit the like button and also comment kayo sa comment section down below. Let me know kung kilala nyo ba si Michael Reeves or, or yung buong offline TV kasi I'm a big fan and let me know kung kilala nyo rin ba. Subscribe kayo din sa channel guys kasi napakarami pang tech related videos coming up very very soon. Once again, my name is CJ and magkita-kita tayo sa susunod kong videos.